140 mil. Not very technical measurement. All right, so as soon as I've got the toe arm off anyways, uh, it's time for a cool mod. This right here is a rack spacer. And uh, basically it allows your rack to be pulled in that much more. Um, so you get more of a turn in the wheel, which means more lock. So yeah, I'm gonna fit these in, which are they're easy enough to do. Take the boot off, pull the armor off, uh, slip that in. Also a good while some in here job, uh, I'm gonna grease this up. So it hopefully runs a bit smoother, but yeah. Got some lithium grease or petroleum grease, I'm not too sure which one it is, but it's the same grease. Oh boy, close your eyes. All right, so if you've never seen a rack spacer or what they do or anything, they basically go on the end of your inner tie rod over the fret. And it just allows it to be able to be pulled in a little bit more. So that would go, that'd go on and all the way down, obviously. But um, just like most of these cheap kind of parts, you have to take a file to them a few times to get them to fit properly. Cause yep, just cheaply made, quickly done in a laser cutter, bye bye. So because we're spacing it out that much, which is four mil, we're gonna have to um, bring this tie rod, tie rod in four mil. So obviously we'd go get an alignment, but this is just so that you're not running around a four mil toe. Um, obviously we'd get an alignment after this, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this as soon as it's out, put it in the vise, and then I'm gonna reel it in four mil to compensate for that. That's it, four mil down, and I've put the spacer on. It's fitting nice and all right. So yeah, uh, I took the opportunity whilst it was all off the car to just take this all out and then copper grease the inside of the threads here. So hopefully it'll keep coming loose. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, gotta fire that back on the car now. We're back on the car and just so as you can see, literally just allows it to pull in that little bit more and that little bit more makes a massive difference. So it does. I'm probably gonna end up scrubbing tires on the, the leg uh, by the looks of it. I'm gonna be already. Yeah, we'll deal with that problem when it comes. But yeah, no, that's that's that. So I just need to fire that back on. And hey presto, I am finito for this side. All right. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's that's some lock. That's uh. It's a lot of lock. Oh, how are we doing? So right now when we're on the ground, we seem to be just missing. It's just a disc that's scraping over there. We seem to be missing. I'm really paranoid I'm on. That's definitely wrong with that. It's a, I'm really paranoid that we're like hitting a brake line or something. And our highly accurate tape measure job says, 175, not bad, what's that, 35 mil, cool, all right, car is on flat floor, we have um, camber these days, so um, I'm going to line it and basically set it up, I'm going to adjust the right height till I'm happy with it. Probably gonna try go up on the rear. Don't have much to play with, but um, yeah, just a little bit up on the rear, and I'm gonna have to get like some wheel spacers <laughs> at some point for the front because that looks ridiculous. I suppose the back does as well. To be fair, now if it just being lowered, I think it's cambered it a bit more. Definitely on the front. I'm not too sure if it does it on the rear though. But um, yeah, I'm going to check the camber very rudely and crudimentary. Uh, just like, I'm going to literally just going to get a, something like that and just measure from top to bottom. I don't have a square edge or anything I could use, so that'll do. But yeah, uh, I'm not going to film everything and how I do it because I can't do it well. <laughs> uh, especially with this heat. Yeah, we have to see it actually inside a unit. Nice. All right, cool. So alignment done. Um, I think if I've done my soaker tour right, there's like 
one degree of camber on the front, which, yeah, I can go more if I want. Um, it looks it looks a lot more to be fair, but um, yeah, so we'll just roll with it for the now. The heights, the heights went up a little bit, not too much, just like a half, uh, about five mil at most. Um, so yeah, it looks looks a lot more stockish. The toe on the rear was quite, it's quite aggressive. It's um, three mil toe out overall, which might be the wrong direction. I need to make go Google, do a load of googling tonight. But uh, three mil out on the rear and two on the front. That's overall. So realistically, there's like one degree, and then one point five degrees on the back. So that's even if my box is right, blah, 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 because um, it's, it's not easy when you're aligning your car with a box that's just a jack stand, uh, two axle stands and also two, two stools. So we'll see how it runs, see if it even drives straight. It might not drive straight. Who knows? Who knows? Coming up in the next episode.